I'm going to group three of these questions together. Is it three? Yeah, three of these questions together. So this is from um, Legendary Era, Lorenzo, and Spandex Pod. Are we breaking out, before I say what the questions are, are we breaking out the green table? Should we make room? I, I, it's definitely time for a pop-up. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> the questions are... Um, Legendary Era asks, do you think there's any chance at all Batwoman Legends of Tomorrow could get saved for one more season? Lorenzo wants to know, has anyone been interested in saving Legends of Tomorrow, like Netflix or, or any other platform? And Spandex Pod uh, is asking, why on earth hasn't Netflix or someone else contacted WTV to produce more seasons of Legends of Tomorrow? So this is very Legends of Tomorrow heavy with a, with a little side of Batwoman, um, which makes sense because they both have saved the show campaigns. Um, and since we're just going to break out the, the green table right now, um, the reason why Netflix isn't looking to pick up the shows is because there is not an audience big enough for Netflix to pick up the shows. And that is the truth, unfortunately. Yeah. And also, I don't think that any of the shows, not just Legends of Tomorrow, I'm not picking on Legends, that whole cluster of shows that were canceled in the CW, I don't think any of those were in any position to be shopped around, unfortunately. And that's just a business thing out of the control of the viewers. Am I correct in saying that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, okay. I'm with you on that. I totally agree with that. And I think the thing that makes this so complicated, and I've really thought about this, and I really thought about how to word this, the thing that makes this so complicated is that for shows like Batwoman and Legends of Tomorrow, the very thing that would save them from any other situation is the very thing that is preventing them from going elsewhere this time. And that is Warner Brothers. At the end of the day, these shows were popular enough for Warner Brothers to keep making them, but the CW wanted to renew them for more seasons there was one buyer there and that was the CW. They wanted more, but Warner Brothers didn't. They did not want to pay the rent for the set and thus the shows could no longer be made. So Warner Brothers, the production company that has wanted to make these shows for so long is now under new leadership. And that would have been Legends and Batwoman's lifeline had they been on a network that had canceled them. Make no mistake about them. The CW did not cancel Batwoman at Legends. Warner Brothers did. So, but the CW wanted to renew them for more seasons and Warner Brothers did not want to pay that rent. So I don't think even if Netflix or anyone else was interested, which they're not clearly, but if they were, I'm not sure that would have been enough to save them because Warner Brothers didn't want to pay the fee for the set. And to use a different example, you have this animated show, Batman Cape Crusader, that was being made for HBO Max. The new Warner Brothers leadership have decided they no longer want to make it for HBO Max, but the show ain't dead. They want to license that out for someone else to produce it instead. And apparently they have had offers from Netflix, from uh, Hulu, um, from Amazon, I think. So that is Warner Brothers wanting to license out another property. Clearly, they did not want to do that anymore with Legends and Batwoman. And that's a big issue with Warner Brothers. But unfortunately, that means that I don't think these shows will return in their original format. I do think we stand a good chance of maybe seeing Javier Leslie's Batwoman on the Flash's final season. And maybe some of the Legends pop up either on the Flash's final season or in a TV movie years down the line. But I don't think... I don't think the shows will return in their original format. And I think a lot of that has, that has to do with not just the issues at the CW at the moment, but the issues at Warner Brothers in general, because we're in a new era. Unfortunately, WB Day, wrongly, does not want those shows to be a part of it. And it is unfortunate um, because the other thing about the, so what made everyone love the CW in terms of like the gear and, the basic guarantee that their show would continue on um, prior to the culling um, was that they didn't care about ratings. The, mm -hmm. Like we've said this a few times on the pod, I believe, but that ended up being um, a strike against them when it came to canceling the shows. When we say that there's not an audience, what we mean is that there is not a cap, like a um, a way for them to see what viewers would turn, tune into. So what you get is 400,000 people tuned into um, 
this episode of Batwoman or this episode of Legends of Tomorrow. And then I look at the whole, the whole season and how many people overall tuned in for the entirety of the season and they would average that number. Like that, the CW's numbers are not good. So there, so if you were to be like, so you're like, but we have, if you're like, we have a, a movement going, clearly there is a fan base, clearly there's a loud, loud audience who wants it. Like that's true. But as far as like the numbers go, they can only go by what like the, the, the ratings say. And so the ratings say that there is not a big enough audience to warrant being uh, carrying another season on a different platform. Like the reason why other shows like Manifest and Lucifer and um, whoever else has been picked up by streaming platforms who were previously um, broadcasting shows is they had large millions of viewers tuned in. The networks canceled them. And those are two, like I urge people not to conflate Lucifer and manifest with these shows because mm-hmm. Lucifer was picked up by Netflix. It was only a few years ago, but that was a completely different time in streaming. Like we have all of these streaming services trying to like restructure and think of their best interests in the studio. It's just, it's a mess. They're all individually putting out their own fires um, and manifest just because I'm going to get specific just because dynasty is in the top 10 of Netflix right now does not mean that show should return because it's not posting the same numbers as manifest, which ended on a colossal cliffhanger. Like those manifest was an anomaly. Like that show came out of nowhere on Netflix and had billions of viewing minutes. Like it was out of control. Like that was, there was a positive business interest in, both Netflix and Warner Brothers striking a deal to bring that show back. Like it was just like a no brainer. And even though at the time Netflix was still having like, you know, a little bit of a mess, Mm -hmm. I think um, they were like, okay, I think we need to do this. Not for, I'm I'm not going to complete that thought (laughs) moving forward. (laughs) Um, So I just like, I urge fans not to conflate success on a streaming service to mean that it should be saved because it's just the avenues are not there there are roadblocks in place and I just Mm -hmm. I wish we could celebrate like oh it's you know going out on a high and the show already ended so we don't need more that's not this to say the same for all the other shows um but it's just I don't think we ever had any indication that there was a road forward for any of them. It just seemed very final. And I think Mm -hmm. um, it's difficult to accept that finality when it's your favorite show. Um, And that's not to say that you should like give up or let the show's uh, legacy die, like continue to talk about it, keep it alive. Um, But you know, manage your expectations a little bit. And I do like, we should warn fans, like there's gonna be another mass exodus on Netflix in five years when these shows inevitably leave it's going to, it was going to happen all over again. They're all going to be canceled again. And they're all going to leave Netflix. <laughs> and it, I just realized that the other day, I was like, Oh, all these shows are going to leave Netflix at the same time. I mean, predictably, I mean, we don't know mm-hmm. it's going to happen because all these shows have been doing weird things, but it could happen again. And then we can talk about it again. And maybe, you know, if we keep these shows alive, specifically legends, I think I've said a million times, I think that show and Batwoman have the best, opportunity to return in some form in the distant future like it's not happening now just because of the way everything is but um yeah I don't know I said something I hope they hopefully it made sense and it wasn't too mean <laughs> no it did it was honest uh because I think at this point honesty is is the best policy um and it's not to naysay the 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 save the show movements just to have uh, realistic expectations of being able to move to have additional content for the shows and to be aware of like the various ways that are different for each show that did get picked up by a streaming mm-hmm. platform or another network. Um, and they will, I always feel like the producers, the showrunners, even the presidents of the network will kind of let you know whether or not it's it's viable. I mean, like when Magnum PI got canceled, they were like, yeah, we didn't want to continue licensing it. So everyone knew that like if NBC wanted their show back, since they were the majority producer on it, the main producer on it, they would take it back. And that's exactly what they did. <laughs> so um, it is just, 
you just have to be aware of the business situation. Sometimes the no is final. Sometimes it's a no because you're asking for a season and what you need is a TV movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. And I think the thing to take away from that for those two shows in particular, there is a way forward for the characters on them, but it's, there's just, I, because of the way things are right now, and it's heartbreaking to say, there isn't a way forward for the shows in their current form as they exist. The avenue that helped the two Warner Brothers one there's a big roadblock there and that's Warner Brothers themselves. It isn't going to happen in that capacity, but I am still going to be out there hoping and fighting that we see these characters again and they get the conclusions they deserve because that's really what any fan can hope for. It's just, as Reid said, just about managing your expectations. For sure. Especially you don't want WB doing it right now. I just mm -hmm. read an article this morning that apparently they're fighting off rumors that they're going to join with Comcast. So it's, <laughs> it's messy over there. Yep, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> They're not joining the Comcast, by the way. Apparently that is just a rumor and it has no validity. 